Hello everybody, welcome to the Linux Privilege Escalation Bootcamp where we'll be learning how you can escalate your privileges in a Linux based environment. Now in the previous video, we learned about how you can escalate your privileges if the etc password and the shadow files have been misconfigured. Now they were quite rare to find in that state, but in this video, we'll be learning how you can escalate your privileges using a legitimate way and it is quite common to find. So the file that I'm the method that we'll be discussing here is called the cron job method. So first of all, let me list out to you cat etc cron tab. So as you can see, this is the cron tab. So it resides in the etc file or folder. Now what is a cron cron tab or what is a cron job? So cron job are the tasks that you can schedule into your Linux machine. So for example, there is a file that you want it to run every minute hour or uh, or a particular day of the week or the year, but you do not have the time and resources to execute it manually. So what you can do is you can give it to the cron job and then it will execute it for you manually. Now what is cron tab? So everything that you give to cron job to be run at a particular minute, hour, day or week, it will be visible here in the etc cron tab file. Now, there are a couple of things that you'll need to understand. So for example, as you can see, this is the MH DOM MOM user command. So the M stand for minute R, the day, the month. So as you can see, it has been set to star for every each one of these. So for example, let us consider this file. So this is the override.sh file, which belongs to the user root. And as you can see, it contains an asterisk for each one of these entries. So as you can see, it will run every minute, every hour, every day of the week, month and year. So this file is supposed to run automatically every minute. So let's just check this file out first of all. So first of all, we will need to locate this file. So we'll be doing that with the help of locate command. As you can see, it is in the, it is in the user local bin override.sh. So let's cat it out, cat user. Now, as you can see, this is a bash file. So over write.sh. So as you can see, it will just print out echo date and it will save it to the temp users file. So let's just see the permissions that we have for that file user local bin over write .sh. Now, as you can see, though this file belongs to the user root, it has write permissions onto it. So what we can do is we can set up a reverse shell over here. So let's write nano. I'll be using nano editor. You can also use Vim or any other that has been installed on the vector machine. So local bin overwrite dot sh. Now what I'll be doing here is I'll be using payload all the things reverse shell now it is a handy cheat sheet that you can use for almost all of the attack types so i'll be using bash tcp so let's comment this out and let's paste it here now my ip address is first of all let's set up, set up the port i'll be using the port number as 1234 and i'll be changing this IP to 10.9.144.115. Let's save it. And in the new tab, let's type in nc tag l1234. Now, I'll just be waiting for a minute and let's see if we get the reversal back. Now, if you are in a Linux based environment, you'll have to use nc tag lnvp. I'm and since I'm on Mac, I'm only using tag l. Now, as you can see, we have the reverse shell connected to us. And as if I type in who am I, you'll see that I am the root user. So thank you guys. This is it for the video.